This is the Lineman Channel. Let's take a look at how to operate this gang operated switch from SNC. Unlike traditional switches, it can be operated remotely, on location using the control panel, and manually using a hot stick. To open the line switch, first flip this down to local. This will disable SCADA and prevent it from operating remotely. Then toggle this switch to open. Once the switch is open, make sure and disable automatic operation. This will prevent the switch from self-operating. Since this one has a lockout lever, I'm going to go ahead and pull it down. If you open the panel and the trip light is on, that means that the switch is automatically open because of a problem on the line. Once the problem is cleared, you can either close in the switch using the control panel or have SCADA do it remotely. If for some reason the control panel doesn't have power, you can operate the switch manually. I'm going to pull down on the spring to close the switch. You may have to pull several times. Looking at the rest of the panel, we have the battery test and lamp test switch, the battery low light, the processor status light, which if it's blinking means everything's running properly. The error detected light, if it's lit, it means that there's a problem with the battery, the internal temperature of the control panel, or the disconnects. If these lights are on, it means the panel is receiving or sending information. And if this light's on, we have a fault caused by overcurrent. The top of the panel has an LCD display which is where you can quickly access key information. And this port is for connecting a laptop. The new functions of this switch help it to operate more efficiently. But most important, they're there to keep you safer on the job. For Northwest Lyman College, I'm Travis Christensen. Work safe out there.